it's a great visibility. I think uh, when we start, we need our name to be seen and our brand to be known, and it's a great platform for us. And it's a great opportunity. It's not as expensive as if we would do like the real fashion week. So um, we get to learn down the road all the little things that we wouldn't know normally and that would cost a lot of money. So it's a great plus for us to be here. Montreal has such an energetic vibe about it and we're really happy to be back here in this community with this industry. It's, it's amazing. Hi everyone, my name is Jay Chevry. I'm your correspondent for the Montreal Startup Fashion Week. So today we are kicking off the week with the Media Lounge. I will have the chance to chat with the vendor, the models and the sponsor. We are here tonight at the old port of Montreal at Le Marché des Écusiers. So stay tuned. Here's the Montreal Startup Fashion Week. How does your personal style reflect on the collection you design? Well, I like to have timeless piece. We like to showcase quality product. Uh, we're trying as much as possible to produce in Montreal. We produce a bit everywhere, but mostly in Montreal. The first thing I starting is from sketching. I'm fashion illustrator. So every time I design what I'm thinking, it just come like that. Now there's still more of a tendency to go from uh, more towards masculine clothing. Uh, it's less tendency to go for men into a more feminine territory and we're kind of trying to change that a little bit. Do you remember the first pieces you sold? I do. The first pieces I sold were actually uh, a hoodie because when I was finished my development, we actually finished in the winter and so we didn't really do a formal launch but I was kind of telling friends and family about it and nobody really wanted to buy a bathing suit in the winter but they, I said, hey, well, I'm starting out with uh, with hoodies, with t-shirts and even before I got the design done, they said, yes, I want one. I am from Kitchener, Ontario originally and I moved to Montreal last year because it rocks. I launched this in 2014 in Toronto actually. And this came as a result of me trying to start my own business in fashion and technology. And I realized how difficult it was. And I wanted to kind of pivot a little bit to help other entrepreneurs that were finding the same challenges in, in that, those industries. So I decided to create a fashion week that would focus on small businesses uh, to give them visibility, give them opportunities to meet industry uh, connections and to really help them take their business to the next level. The Startup Fashion Week offers a great platform for models as well. I'm with Ta Taibat who's modeling for the first time in the Startup Fashion Week. Yes, this is my first time and I'm super, super excited. And this is just a great opportunity to meet people in the industry. It's very important because like a lot of people make up the fashion industry, not just the designers. So you have the photographers, you have people that, like for example, give interviews and all that. So it's just a way for you to put yourself out there and to collaborate with people like one of the best in the industry. Hi, my name is Katie from MTL Katie and I am the host of the Under the Influencer podcast. There was no Montreal-based podcast, no Montreal-based fashion influencer marketing-based podcast. So I just kind of found a niche that didn't that didn't really have anything in it, and I went for it. So I talk about all things influencer marketing, all things fashion, and I really try to focus it on Montreal. Last year, I came as a volunteer, and I actually was a volunteer, and I got pulled in as a model. I was actually in one of the designer's outfits, like directing the models, because I was still fulfilling my job as like a volunteer. At Startup Fashion Week, we have fashion and technology. I'm with Chauvet. Can you guys describe me your product? Yes, our product it's uh, like uh, the Uber for uh, beauty services. So uh, what we do, we uh, bring. Uh, beauty services to your place. In Star Fashion Week Montreal, I am in charge of the designers and the models and all the logistics of the runway show backstage. Dealing with hair and makeup, dealing with designers, models, looks, selection, and uh, in the overall week, I also help with like the events. Um, so you'll see me every day at the conference, at the forum, all the events I'm there setting up, helping out. How it is important for a startup to be here, such an event as the Startup Fashion Week? I think that it's really critical, um, you know, in the first couple of years for the brand to set themselves in a good position. Um, you know, fashion is a very competitive market. So I think there's a lot of learnings that we learn as, as startups uh, at a very low cost. After three days of networking and conferences, we're now on the last day of this amazing event, the Startup Fashion Week in Montreal, the Runway Show. South Canada is the fashion industry, the fashion resource of Canada. And my role is to cover everything that you have in fashion in Montreal 
And, and we are so excited and so thrilled to be here. Behind me is the stage where the magic will happen in the next minute. And this gorgeous venue at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth with a nice skyline view of Montreal. Ladies and gents, let the show begin. I am so excited. This space is absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to put together the most amazing, spectacular show that Montreal has ever seen. I'm just here with a friend to support uh, one of the designers. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. First time here. I'm so. quite excited actually. I can't wait to see all the new designers and everything. Um, Startup Fashion Week was actually one of my first shows. I did it back in Toronto and it actually gave me a lot of opportunity. I'm actually not from here, I'm from Halifax. So being in Montreal is a totally different kind of vibe. Um, the crowd is crazier here. I'm with the makeup sponsor for the Montreal Startup Fashion Week, Tara. Hi, Tara. Hi there. Um, so we're here with Rachel Schultz Cosmetics um, for Startup Fashion Week. We've achieved many looks we were given um, and we're really excited for the show. We are Blummy Beauty Bar and we are located on McGill in the Old Port. We do hair, we do nails, we do spray tan, we do everything that has to do with beauty. It's a, it's a big opportunity for us. We're really happy to be here. I mean, we get to do different styles and different models. Just make them look, you know, fashion ready. And Shape On is a technological innovation in shapewear because it's a, it's extremely light and comfortable and uh, breathable. All of our technology is stored in the cloud and we use NFC and RFID to tap it on a smartphone and get either the medical information in an emergency or business information back and forth just on an everyday usage. So how was the event tonight? Uh, it was amazing. I am super pumped. It, it just finished. You guys missed it. It was amazing. It was really great. So where are the next events for the start of Fashion Week? Uh, so we're heading out to Vancouver on August 15th. We're going to be in Vancouver and I'm super excited. It's going to be a one day event, but you better look out for it. And then, sorry, in October, you're going to be seeing us in Toronto. So if you're in Toronto, come out, come enjoy the same thing, but better. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. This concludes the second edition of the Montreal Startup Fashion Week. I was Jay Chevry, your official Montreal comrade spendant. Congrats to the whole team for this amazing event. Make sure to follow the Startup Fashion Week on Instagram and Facebook and to watch out for the next event in Toronto and Vancouver. <laughs>